Hey guys, this is JJ Interviews and we're interviewing Sidonia. Please introduce yourself, your role in the band, and say something about yourself that nobody knows. Oh, okay, that's putting me on the spot. I'm Dana, um, I'm the guitarist and vocalist. Um, gosh. I know mine. Do you? Yeah, yeah I got mine too. Yeah. I really like chili. True. Uh, I'm Sean, I'm the drummer in the band, and I secretly love Dana. <laughs> I'm Sam and I'm hiding. <laughs> you can turn around now. Sam. It's camouflage. What's your role in the band? Pardon? What's your role in the band? Uh, toilet roll. <laughs> oh. uh. Big sausage roll. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sausage roll. Sausage roll. I don't know. Um, you know, it's pretty much being as sexy as possible. When you have a mic, you feel a bit sexier. <laughs> Stop um, laughing, How did the band come together? Uh, Adam and I met in like 96, and then um, another a friend of mine, Sean, who, uh, Sean, a friend of mine, Carl, knew Sean, and was like, oh, I know a drummer, he likes the same crap music you do. And we had like a love-hate relationship like that. So that's how we met Sean. And then Sam was an old friend from Sunny Coast from years ago who we Played in bands not together for not <laughs> for ages, and and, uh, and then he was all he kind of he was heartbroken, and he moved to Melbourne and Did moved I? in with me. Yeah, he I was all you, he was all guys. shattered, and he and we kind of enfolded him in our warm embrace, and yeah, that's how we got together. Who inspired you to make music? Oh. Go, Steve Irwin. <laughs> he did. I went to his house when I was a kid, three, and he had like. It was at terrariums in the lounge room. He had a zoo as big as a house. Oh, really? Yeah. And, went, and what's that got to do I with said, music, though? I said, I'm going to make music because you are going to be a big influence in my life one day. I introduced him to Stingrays. That same Stingray? No, just I said, Stingrays. don't jump on them, you big dickhead, and he did. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, what about you guys? Me, oh, I was the, I, yeah, that's easy to smashing pumpkins. That's I just was obsessed with them, and that made Did me want to play guitar. Um, no, but I saw the sideshow, oh, okay. and it was actually really good because Billy, <laughs> Billy, every time I see them, he says something really stupid. He just can't help himself. He's got they're like this foot and mouth disease. But this time he was like, oh, it's generally agreed. It's things go better if I don't talk. So thank you, and it was actually quite nice. So yeah. Are you gonna say thank you? Uh, don't talk to. You. Yeah, I'm the drummer. Just. I don't say anything. Go on. No, I don't. no, no, no. no, 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 no. Listening to mum's records. Oh, really? Just, yeah. You've just got a mum. Yeah. So Abba then? No. Not say Abba. that again, I'll punch you. I love Abba. Tina Turner? No, Beatles. Beatles? Yeah. Oh. So we don't know much about Sean. We've been together for how many years? At least a day. Yeah, and these, these interviews bring out the best and worst. Yeah, I didn't know it was Ringo. I thought it was Motley Crue. Yeah, it was, mom, it is though, he loves yeah, Motley Crue. His mum's always rocking up to gigs in the full glam outfit, just dancing, it's great. Cool. Your mum's cool, she's almost 60. Um, she's a good dancer. How did you come up with your band name? Uh, Adam and I were watching this conspiracy video about this place on Mars, and we just thought that would be a great name, and so we misspelt it on purpose, thinking someone else is going to have the same idea, surely. So. And they did. And they did, there was a band called The Fireflies here in Brisbane who named their album Sidonia. Oh, was it? Mm. I thought it was a band called Sidonia from... No, there was an Italian thrash band called Sidonia. Oh, yeah. oh and, and there the was like Mars a side trance as well, yeah. yeah. And there's a place on Mars. <laughs> yeah. We are going down the side trance, though. So we should yeah. probably look into some remixing. Probably. Is there any band or artist you like to tour or collaborate with? Steve Irwin. <laughs> How are you going to do that? Oh, I'm... Why Dig him up. <laughs> Well, that can be ultimate, like, necro Zombie, kind of... zombie genre. Yeah. Zombie risk. <laughs> Crikey. Same. That's actually a good idea, dude. I don't think the family's going to appreciate it, but we'll still do it. Yeah. Still, I'll still All do right, it. yeah, so Steve Irwin. Steve Irwin. Okay. What was the question? Totally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next. Um, for those people who don't know your band, briefly describe yourselves in five words. Sexy. Heavy. Heavy sexy. Sneezy. <laughs> D dopey. And <laughs> drummy. Classy. Classy. Drummy. Yeah, drummy's a good one. There's lots of drums. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, we have two percussion setups as well as the kit. Not tonight, we don't. Don't we? Yeah, we do. No, I gotta find if, if there's a skipper. Oh, there's a skip. I'll oh, pull out like something. Just All right, on. cool. Do you have any strange nicknames in the band? No. I get Danish. <laughs> Adam, our bass player's got a lot, but we can't say it in a public forum like the internet because, you know, he might actually watch it. No. no you know, Captain Overreaction was Captain Overreaction. One. Captain Overreaction. That was a pretty good one. And you get Samwise. Samwise, yeah. Because yeah. it's like in the movie Lord of the Rings. He yeah. and I always get to the cliff top and it's like, we should Remember. pash now. But then he's like, no, just with his big steely blue eyes, he walks forward into the swamps. You do, every time. <laughs> That's it, and you throw the ring in it. And then right? there's three other make out, not the ends. I know. Yeah. We should, I should have made out in those movies. If you could bring back three celebrities from the dead, who would they be? Steve Irwin, Steve Irwin, <laughs> and Steve Irwin. That'd be crikey, pretty great. What triple Irwin? What, you're going to bring him back Dude, and clone him twice? That? He would be flying on magical stingrays. <laughs> what about monkey magic? <laughs> Throwing crocodiles at people. It'd be awesome. Yeah, I don't oh, know. Sorry, about that. You, you, can, you, got, you, can, you got anything? Uh, He's got nothing. No, I got nothing. Dana? Who are you going to say? Monkey? As in monkey magic. Monkey magic. <laughs> How is that a celebrity? He's pretty famous. The monkey. As Your the demands. Monkey. Yeah. Is he dead? Well, I suppose so. It's a pretty old show. It's not that old. Well, it was a long time ago, though. In Gondwana. 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 Oh, you mean Bill like in the, in the story? Bill Hicks. Yeah. Bill Hicks would be right, so good right now. Go. The world needs Bill yeah. Hicks again. Yeah. That'd be a... There we go. That's yeah. three. Sensible. Kanye West. Let's bring him back. He's not dead, unfortunately. He's dead to me. <laughs> if you could be any mythical creature, what would it be? Oh, wow, these are deep questions. Mm -hmm. You know, what do you choose it on? The ability to fly? <laughs> incredible I would like, strength? I'd like incredible foresight. Seer powers? No, the, the incredible ability for hindsight. <gasps> There's three of us, so we could be shouldn't like those three that. witches who share that eye. You know? Yeah, we oh totally God. shouldn't have peeled out our other eyes. Now, what was a mystical creature? I'd be a dragon. Would you? Yeah. Okay. I'd probably be one of those little um, bugs, you know, the ones that you touch Star and they go... Scarab beetle? No, 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 little skeeter, scooters, skeeters, you know the ones? Are they a you mystical up a creature rock? or are they real? I don't know, I make Would them up when I look at them. Real? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go dung. Someone's got to be a unicorn. At least I'd be good at that job. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Um, what have you learnt from being in a band? God. Don't hang out with me. Don't put anything like this in front of me. <laughs> oh, that's a good question. Not to invite Sam to interviews. Not to, to, not to snuggle up and to Sam too much at night. Yeah. His pan chow comes out. Hey, what's wrong with that? That's okay. No, that's all right. Interviews are good. Mm. I like them. Um, I th yeah, how to be really spendthrift. In like making we videos and making money. merch. It's like, that's what I mean. Spend thrift. Oh, right. Not spending oh, money. Okay. I thought you meant like, whoo, spending really quickly. No, I don't think that's what spend thrift means. I make up a lot of words, yeah. dude, and I'm pretty sure that's how I would use All it. All right, cool. Because I'm going to spend thrift something out of it. Something. You I'm could so be hungry. right, though. I don't know. No, maybe we'd be more scrupulous or surreptitious. <laughs> Next question. The, the okay. <laughs> what goes on behind backstage rehearsals? Backstage rehearsals? What, what do you mean? Just what do we do? Just, yeah. yeah, writing songs to keep it pretty simple. What, back there? Well, I don't know. Yeah, it's not really backstage. Oh, you mean so rehearsals or...? Rehearsals or, or backstage? Both. Both. Okay. We're so backstage yoga, at rehearsals. Yoga studio or kung fu dojo? There's definitely a bit of yoga before we play. There's a lot of kung fu. Just me running and getting beaten up. That's I call that kung fu. It's pretty kung fu. -y. I've got a black belt. I don't really, it's just this Velcro Honey, thing. Honey, licorice tea. They give me. Yoga. Yoga? Yeah. yeah. Do you feel nervous before playing a show? Yeah. Yeah. Especially getting interviewed. Don't you? No, no. neither do I. Okay. No. Okay. What's your hobby besides making music? Uh, you, uh, oh, music, you said don't do music. Well, Sam's an artist. I paint, yeah. Hang out with my daughter. Play music. Oh, you can't play music to kids. That's that's a hobby as well because I don't get paid. Um, surfing. I like to surf. Occasionally. Yeah, same. And I'm, I read a lot. Gardening. And I'm writing stuff. Gardening. I, I, I like. Hmm. Yeah. Gardening. Probably all of those things. Yep. <laughs> what has been the best and worst show you have played? 
Oh gosh, the worst show was yeah. I reckon El was Grande Festival. Yeah. <laughs> was no, we played in Charlotte. Um, with Stone Sour. I oh, so when he had explosive diarrhea. And no, and oh, the sound guy just, we had no fallback. And he was like this big sort of redneck dude. And I was like, there's no fallback. And he'd be like, <laughs> and I was like, no, 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 still nothing. <laughs> so we had no fallback. Did you kiss him? And then Sean broke through his drum skin and it was just a schmozzle. I remember that night. But one of the best Wasn't that when gigs. the tornadoes nearly hit? Yeah, 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 there was like, you could see them trying to form, but they didn't. And then the like I reckon the best show was on that tour as well, um, was oh, in New, right. yeah, was it New Hampshire? Yeah. yeah. Mm, New Hampshire, and we played at this casino that had had, like, same stage, had had Hendrix and Led Zeppelin and stuff on it. And that was, and we, and we killed it that night. We had a really good show. Yeah, it was wicked. Mm. Had a line up for CDs and stuff. If you had three wishes from a snail, what would it be? So a wish each. Snail? Yeah. That's cool. What do snails give you? I don't know. I just gave me a snail the other day. It was, in there. <laughs> it was a she slug, goes, wasn't it? A slug. It was like a middle of the night, just about to go to bed. What's this? And what was Ads talking about earlier? That those slug. dudes were getting Didn't get any wishes drinking they and they would like, eat that slug and he ate it and then he got a parasite in his brain and now he's like, buggered. Poor, poor fellow. A happy story. He makes up a lot of stories. Does he? Him. Yeah. I don't know. It sounded pretty legit. Okay, so wishes? Yeah, wishes. Oh. I wish not a parasite. I wish everything on Wikipedia was true, <laughs> so it could just be a reliable source of information. Constantly. That's good. That's pretty. Good. That's that's handy, I think, for people. Sean, would you like a drum kit that just set itself up? That'd oh, be pretty. Like awesome. a transformer. <laughs> or could I wish you guys out of existence? Oh, oh, hey. just tell me. That's a fair call. Yeah. Oh, smelly. Yeah. Some kind I of like sleeping, but it'd be awfully handy if you didn't have to. So I'll wish for not having to sleep. And just get so much stuff done. You're like yeah. Van Gogh, just raw, <laughs> and cut my ears <laughs> off and stuff. Have you had any embarrassing moments on stage? Uh, <laughs> you got one? No. Oh, no. Well, yes. Oh, no, <laughs> but I don't know if we're allowed to talk about it. Because last don't time we were in Brisbane. Don't talk about the incident. Don't talk about it. And Sam allowed. ended up nude. No, no, no. I just Sam ended up nude. I think I, I think I can say that much. Oh, I don't think it's that bad. I'm not I'm not bagging anyone it's out for making you nude. It's just but a yeah, penis. We've it was all been through one. But yeah, that I that know. was. I don't know if it was embarrassing though. It was just weird. That was awesome. I wouldn't say it was embarrassing at all. Remember that time I was nude on stage here in Brisbane? <laughs> <laughs> that was Let's all. Not talk we can't talk about it. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, what is your zombie plan? Oh, finally. Okay. Zombie plan? Yeah, zombie hmm. plan. You just moved into a new house. Oh, I was in. I was in the perfect house. I was in a top floor apartment yeah. so I would have been fine now I'm screwed nah you wouldn't be fine you got no water you've seen 28 days they got buckets on the roof. roof yeah buckets on the roof buckets. they dry out it's Melbourne need a lot it of water a lot. I would probably go uh, like bush a, you're you'd way out. out on the island you'd be fine yeah. there no just, there's a lot of rednecks out there yeah but you, you just the bridge. Yeah. stop the bridge oh Boom. yeah 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 you got yeah. like a perfect it's still there's swim. people on the island I'll go visit him and Phillip Island forget about the people on there there's still 7,000 people swim in this scenario I don't think they can. Some people in America just made a simulation, so you can pick a starting city and then it simulates a zombie apocalypse. Apparently it's online, you can go look at it, but apparently if you're a little way out of a city, they don't make it there for days, so Sam would be fine. Yeah. We'd be in trouble. I'd talk at them. I'd just talk at the zombies, that's my plan. <laughs> talk them down. Don't! Go, don't! So don't eat me! Don't! 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 They wouldn't stop. They might not want your brain anyway. No, there's nothing in there. They'd sniff and just go, what's one cell going to do? Sustainers. What are some tips from people wanting to start a band? Don't. <laughs> Don't start it, be it. Be the band. Like pinball. You know? Be the ball. So be the Learn band. how to tune your instruments. Tuning's a good that, thing. That's a good thing. Yeah. Uh, riffs, like good riffs, and uh, rock manoeuvres. Big choreography, write the choreography first. Get that down. Then worry about the music. No. It's how you look, it's not what you sound like. It's yeah, yeah oh, it, is. it is a little it's bit. It's about how many hats you're wearing. It's about seven hats. My seven advice hats. would be be nice and be try and be yourselves and be original and not follow trends and um, and, and do a good recording. Mm -hmm. That would be my we advice. We should take our own advice, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of that. Do you have any, any new music or shows coming soon? 
Yeah, well, we're playing here tonight. tonight and then tomorrow Gladstone. at Gladstone, we, gr we have to go through Gympie. <laughs> they tell me it's amazing. Highest murder rate, <laughs> lowest amount of surnames. Most churches. We've got our most zombie churches. battle car to go through most there. Most speed cooks. Most speed cooks. <laughs> no, most speed cooks. Most churches. Something like that. Yeah. That's uh, the stats on Gympie. I don't know why we're talking about Gympie. Because it's on the way to Gladstone. Oh, okay. That's yeah, Gladstone. And then, and then, yeah, the and then we got... And we're writing our new album. Yeah, and then so we've got Sydney. Oh, we've got Canberra Sydney and Canberra. Sydney. Sydney. But yeah, we're writing the third album. So awesome. yeah, so we'll it's, and it's getting there. We've got we're sort of halfway there. Yeah. Cool. Sort of like and lastly, do you have any messages you would like to give out to your fans? Um, I don't know. Thanks for thanks. Put numbers. Fast forward to this bit and say because we are thanks fans for being our fans and putting up with me mostly. Is she the fan up in the window there watching us? She's pretty awesome. Hi. <laughs> yell out! I'm sexy. Just yell that out. <laughs> Thank you. You are. You you live those words. There we go. She's our biggest fan. She's our biggest fan. Yeah. See now. you soon, Mum. <laughs> okay. Thank you. This has been JJ Interviews. Keep smiling, stay positive, and rock on. Yes.